Are you bored where you live? Is it pretty much uneventful every single day? Well, you might try to visit these places we're about to explore. Today we're going to be talking about scientifically impossible places that actually exist. For you insomniacs out there, number one is for you, so stay tuned. With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. The Petrifying Well. Anyone who's seen at least a little bit of Greek mythology should have at least a passive knowledge of the Gorgons, three women-like monsters with snakes for heads. One particular Gorgon, Medusa, was feared because of her insane power. Anyone who stares into her eyes turns into stone. Of course, we all know that these are just stories, but did you know that there is a place somewhere in England that does exactly the same thing? That's right, deep in North Yorkshire, there's a cave called the Petrifying Well, where water runs down the sides and into the ground. People go there to leave everything from keys to teddy bears by the water because when they return weeks later, they know they will find those same items turned to stone. Now, the petrifying process really isn't that uncommon. This process is responsible for the formation of stalactites and stalagmites in caves. What's quite amazing with the petrifying well is the speed of which it does the process. Stalactites and stalagmites usually take a few hundred years to form, but any item placed in the well turns to stone in just a matter of weeks. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal, he does leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 9. The Boiling River. Have you ever heard about the Lost City of Gold? According to legends, there exists a Lost City of Gold somewhere deep in the Amazon jungle. While the existence of such a place can't be easily proven or disproven, at least one aspect of the story has been confirmed to be factual, that being the Boiling River. And yes, this Boiling River was found in the Peruvian Amazon, giving more credence to the City of Gold story. But the Boiling River itself was deemed an impossibility until it was discovered. The waters in this river reach temperatures of up to 196 degrees Fahrenheit or 91.1 degrees Celsius. The water boils everything that touches it, whether that's unsuspecting frogs or fish that realize too late that the water is heating up. People are clueless as to what else could be causing the water to boil, as it behaves unlike any river anywhere else in the world. Some say it runs over a fault line in the earth, while others say the gods have created it, as they like to watch animals fall in and cook from the inside out as they try to escape. I'd say that's a little far-fetched, but given that many gods like sacrifices, I wouldn't put it past it. Number 8. The Zone of Silence There is a place in the Chihuahuan Desert in northern Mexico where radio signals don't work, and compasses spin out of control when placed near stones on the ground. It is called the Zone of Silence. It measures only 50 kilometers across and is located in the Mapimi Biosphere Reserve, a huge, mostly uninhabited expanse, almost 400,000 hectares, where the flat and desolate terrain is interspersed with lonely mountain outcrops. The disruption is believed to be caused by subterranean deposits of magnetite, as well as debris from meteorites. The zone's overall effects are disputed, but there is no doubt that the area, which sits on the borders of the Mexican states of Chihuahua, Durango, and Coahuila, has an abundance of celestial activity, including some say visits from UFOs and extraterrestrials. Number 7. The Ringing Rocks of Pennsylvania there is a place in Pennsylvania where the rocks can sing, and scientists are clueless as to why they can do that. The Ringing Rock Park is a seven-acre wooded area which is known for the massive rocks that piled up there. These boulders are special, however, as they make clear bell-like tones when struck, hence their name, the Ringing Rocks. Only about a third of the rocks ring, and for a long time why the rocks rang at all was unclear. However, in 1965, a group of scientists crushed, broke, and sliced the rocks. After performing numerous tests, they found that while all the rocks do in fact ring, they often do so at tones lower than the human ear can perceive, and furthermore, the exact mechanism by which they ring still remains elusive. They have, however, been used in a very unique concert in 1890. J.J. Ott used these ringing rocks exclusively during the performance, so you might say it was the very first rock concert. Oh, I hate my life. Number 6. The Fire Eagle Nest The Fire Eagle Nest, also known as the Potomsky Crater, is an anomaly located in the middle of the woods somewhere in Siberia. It is something so unique, outstanding, and mysterious that it would still puzzle scientists to this very day. 
The first mystery is no one actually knows how it was created. One theory states that it was created by prisoners at a top-secret Stalin labor camp, although the reason for them doing so is not stated. Some theories also say that it may be the result of a meteorite crash into the Earth or by volcanic activity in the area, or even by an underground hydrogen explosion, but subsequent studies veer away from any of these explanations. And of course, another theory states that the aliens did it. Even weirder, the trees closest to it have experienced extremely accelerated growth, just like those near infamous nuclear meltdown sites. Anyone who gets too close experiences extreme nausea and headaches. One explorer, Eugene Vorobiev, dropped dead of a heart attack just a few kilometers from the crater, despite being in perfect health. Many scientists have come to study the area, but none of them can conclusively prove how the crater formed or why weird things seem to happen near and around it, and it looks like it's going to remain that way for years to come. Number 5. Twin Town In this town, you'll be literally seeing double. On the surface, there's nothing remarkable about Kodani, a modest settlement in Kerala, India. It's home to around 2,000 families, but the remarkable thing is that there are at least 400 pairs of twins in those families. India has one of the world's lowest rate for pairs of twins born. The average is no higher than 9 per 1,000 births, but then again, the people from Kodini seem to have never gotten that memo. Twin birth is a natural phenomenon, so there should be an explanation why this small town in India has so many of them but scientists still have no concrete explanation for this phenomenon. And it's not because they weren't trying. For years, scientists have tried to explain this oddity, but they all come up with the same conclusion. It's unexplainable. Some say the explanation lies within the diet of the people of Kodini, but that avenue also led to a dead end. It doesn't appear that there's anything in the water or the food, though, as there's nothing out of the ordinary in their diet compared to other communities in this area. To add to the even more weirdness, there are reports that women who have married men from Kodini and moved there also give birth to twins. Number 4. Lake Vostok Lake Vostok is a subglacial lake located in East Antarctica. Subglacial because it's buried under miles and miles of snow and ice. Scientists say that the waters there are thousands of years old and have never seen sunlight for the longest time. Yet despite being one of the darkest, coldest, and most inhospitable places that could be found on Earth, scientists were surprised to find life down there. From what information we can gather, there are over 3,500 different species of bacteria living in the water, and they were unlike anything living anywhere else. Without access to sunlight, they'd evolved to survive on just the minerals and rocks, and had learned to thrive in the icy cold and pure dark waters. Most interestingly of all, many of these extremophiles, as they are called, could easily live on Jupiter. This makes them thousands of times more indestructible than humans. We might not survive the apocalypse, but they definitely will. Number 3. The Everlasting Lightning Storm Fancy living in a place where the chances of you getting struck by lightning once a day is a complete possibility? Probably not, but such a place does exist. And here, the lightning storm literally never stops. The area around the Cataumbo River in Venezuela has been in the middle of a lightning storm for decades, and it seems that there is no end in sight. Scientists are also unable to explain the phenomenon. The lightning starts at around 7 o'clock in the evening and then rages all the way until sunrise. Many scientists have gone to verify the claims of locals, and all have confirmed them, but no one is any closer to finding an explanation as to why it happens. Once people hypothesized that it was due to uranium in the atmosphere, but that was quickly dismissed as a fringe theory. The thing is, no other explanation has come up at all, no matter how many times scientists visit and stare, and so the whole area remains a mystery. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Today's photo was submitted by a subscriber, and it shows a large body of water, probably an ocean that has been parted in half. Now, we all know the story of Moses and the parting of the Red Sea. But that's just a Bible story and couldn't be real, right? Well, we'll find out next. Number 2. The Parting of the Red Sea The Parting of the Red Sea is one of those biblical stories that is so fantastic, so surreal, that you might think that the possibility of it happening in real life is impossible. Well, scientists have found that if the location is right and the conditions are right, this miracle could happen even today. There are a couple of factors that need to align perfectly in order for this to happen, though, one of which is the location. According to experts, the Bible story didn't actually occur in the Red Sea as we know today, but rather the Lake of Tanis. Translating the original text have revealed that the place where the miracle occurred was actually called the Sea of Reeds, and it just so happened that the Lake of Tanis, with its shallow, brackish water, is the perfect place for papyrus reeds to grow. 
Now that we have the location, the final factor involved in this miracle is an atmospheric phenomenon called a wind setdown, in which strong winds, a little over 60 miles per hour, create a push on coastal water, which in one location creates a storm surge. There is basis for this in the Bible as well, as the texts say that a mighty wind blowing from east parted the waters. This phenomenon has been observed in places like Lake Erie and the Nile Delta itself. So there you go. If you want to see a modern miracle of biblical proportions, just camp out on the edge of a shallow body of water and pray for strong winds. Number 1. The Sleeping City Are you one of those people who finds it hard to fall asleep? I'm definitely one of those, and I've tried everything from counting sheep to glasses of warm milk, but none of them seem to work. Funny enough, the solution to my problem and several others would be solved by a trip to a certain city in Kazakhstan. Back in 2013, people living in Kalachi just started nodding off, and not only in their beds. People would succumb to sleepiness while at work, in school, buying groceries, or walking in the park. The thing is, it wasn't just an isolated case only affecting a few individuals. The entire city was being affected, and the symptoms lasted for an entire year. Then as suddenly as the symptoms appeared, it vanished, leaving doctors and scientists puzzled. Since then, some have suggested that the uranium mine under the city was to blame, as the carbon monoxide it gave off lessened the oxygen in the air and made people drowsy. That could be true, but then why would the effects just suddenly stop, and why did no one notice it was happening? Does the place where you live and have something that science can't explain as well? Let us know in the comment section down below. Want to watch more videos about amazing places? Click on any of the videos you see on your screen. As always, thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Later everybody.